Hi, this is Simon at Vans today in Worcester. I'm going to give you a quick video walk around of our, uh, our own little personal uh, 2007 Mini Cooper S. Um, this is a vehicle that we have owned ourselves for probably four or five years now. Um, as I say, it's a 2007 on an 07. We'll probably take the plate back off it uh, when we sell it. Um, 1.6 turbo, 174 brake horsepower Mini Cooper S. Um, it's got a few bits on it, got the uh, a few JCW, like the JCW Aero Pack um, fitted to it, a few other bits and pieces. Uh, I think we had all the wheels refurbed on it last year as well, uh, to gloss black. Um, have a look at the MOT history, basically we've not done a lot of miles, you'll see the kind of miles that we've been doing in it. Um, the viewpoint of this was to buy it and turn it into a uh, sort of track day. Uh, and maybe even uh, go the full hog and convert it into a rally car. We never actually quite got round to it. Um, it's sat around, uh, we use it every now and then, um, but uh, as you can see by the MOT history, we don't use it a lot. Um, and I'm just trying to clear the decks of various vehicles that we have around the place that uh, we, uh, we have um, on fleet and don't use, this being one of them. Um, so overall pretty good condition I've got to say, um, it's pre fairly straight, as it had paint in its time, it's an 07 plate car, it's bound to have had paint in its time hasn't it? There's nothing there that's been done to a shoddy kind of um, degree or anything like that. Um, but the purpose of my videos is to give you a warts and all video walk around of the vehicle so you can get a good idea of exactly what it is that you're buying before you travel to us. Uh, a lot of our customers will actually buy the vehicles blind and then either uh, come and collect them um, having watched the video or get the vehicle delivered to them. Um, so here we are. So we're going to start up here on the roof where we always start with the vans. Uh, roof is in good condition, solid roof, all in the same black as the rest of the vehicle. Um, all looking pretty good. We have a little bit of corrosion there on the, um, on the rubber strip. Um, nothing major. You know, really, if you're looking there, a really, really minor little sort of stone chippy spot there. Um, a couple of minor stone chips on the front end of the roof. Uh, nothing major. We can always get a touch-up stick ordered for it. Um, windscreen is in overall good condition. Um, there's no major stone chips on there. There are minor, minor stone chips. There's nothing that's going to cause either of us any grief when it comes to MOT time. It does have a heated quick clear front windscreen on it. Um, from what I can remember, it all works perfectly fine. Um, fairly sure that does actually, to be fair. Uh, coming down onto your bonnet, the bonnet is again in good overall condition. Are there little minor marks? If we get in really close, yeah, I mean, an hour spent with a touch-up stick would probably help it, but it's by no means kind of horrible or anything like that. Worst bit on it is this, this little bit here that's been touched in. Um, you know, the rest of the bonnet, I would say, for the age of the vehicle, is perfectly acceptable. Um, Again, you've got the kind of upgraded front grills on it. You've got the uh, mini um, uh, spot lamp pack on it. Um, they could do with a little bit of a clean up or there's a little bit of weathering on the lenses. Um, nothing too major. Same with the main headlamp lenses. A little bit of sun dye on there. We will get some, uh, get the polishing mop on there and just get those cleaned up uh, a little bit better for you. Front bumper, um, front fog lights again, a little bit weathered. Um, still work perfectly fine and then coming around the front of the vehicle it's not too bad you know it's a god it's 15 years old this year mad um, you know it's not bad for a 15 year old vehicle basically if we look down the passenger side of the vehicle from this angle hopefully you can see no major dents or dings all looking pretty straight and tidy and as we carry on round to the passenger side, sort of uh, leading edge of the bonnet, again, minor, minor chips, nothing major. Alloy wheels, as I say, we had them, I think, refurbed maybe a year or two, two back in gloss black. Uh, budget tyres on there, to be quite frank with you, there's loads of tyre tread depth on there. I think it's got a set of land sails fitted to it. You know, we'd have replaced them as and when we needed to, to something a bit more, but there's nothing actually wrong with them, to be fair. They, there's nothing no wrong with a grip on them, that's for sure. Um, passenger door glass, that's all looking good. Your passenger mirror unit and mirror itself is all good. 
your passenger door handles looking good have a look at your alignment of your door and then your door edges as i bring the camera down you can see everything is tallying up nicely passenger door itself again minor minor stone chips but nothing major and as you can see it's got a nice gleam to the paintwork passenger side rear quarter that's all pretty good obviously your chrome filler flap there's your filler in there again reels could do the proper clean i'm not quite sure i'll give oliver my valet a, a, a kicking when i get back for not cleaning the alloys properly before i've taken the camera out but land sale again on the back end that again has plenty of tire tread depth on there as well uh, back end of the vehicle rear light units all looking pretty good again look down the side profile of the vehicle from this angle and i think you can see it's all quite respectable isn't it we have minor minor little marks there nothing major rear of the vehicle looks neat and tidy doesn't it um it had some bigger wider plates on it when we bought it and obviously there's just a little bit of a mark there where they've slowly rubbed against the paintwork but chrome tipped exhaust rear reflectors all good Minor little mark there, but again, nothing undue for the age. Rear light unit, that side's pretty good. Uh, having a look at the top of the rear bumper in overall good condition. Mini badge has lost a little bit of the mini bit of it, but it's not too bad. And then looking inside the vehicle, let's move that out of the way. We have a little mini boot liner there, carpet, etc. It's all fairly neat and tidy in there. Um, literally we've just given it a very quick wash off in order just to get the photos and the videos done of it but i can go into more detail on the cleaning of it before it goes out the door looking down the driver's side from the rear again pretty clean and tidy no bumper scuffs alloy wheel this side again will need another clean but was refurbed at the same time as the others land sales tire on there and again loads of tire tread depth on there rear quarter this side again pretty good overall condition got those nice little aero side skirts driver side door again pretty straight and tidy minor little marks um, but nothing major and then coming through to the front of the vehicle all looking pretty good now again a dirty aloe wheel but um Somebody's marked one there, look, the little blighters. Um, so you've got that little mark there on the wheel, but again, a land sale tire. And again, plenty of tire tread depth on there. Driver's side front bumper corners all looking good. Um, let's have a look inside it, shall we? So, back of the vehicle, very rarely used. To be honest with you, I think the rear seats have been folded down on it for about the last six months. Um, so all looking pretty good headlining's looking pretty good driver's seat now there are some cracking in the leather here from getting in and out of the vehicle you can actually buy some anthracite leather dye nowadays that will take that away if it bothers you that much door card all looking pretty clean and tidy electric mirrors there it does have the John Cooper Works click plate, uh, kick plate fitted to it on entry. And in the front here, carpet, aluminium pedals, driver's seat's pretty nice. Leather steering wheel. We have cruise control on it on this side. We have multifunction on this side for your volume and search controls. No Bluetooth on the car. I know it's got uh, telephone buttons on there, but there isn't anything on it. And uh, that can be added, I think, if you wanted to somehow double check the mini forums uh vent there all pretty good um parrot bluetooth phone kit never worked on the vehicle we haven't taken it out to be quite frank with you we will take that out before it goes out because it's just a pain in the ass <coughs> um key obviously you have your start stop button there's your key there foot on the clutch turn the ignition on fires up so it's telling us 330 miles since the service is due and I don't think we've reset the MOT light on it this year but we'll get all of that done on it before it goes out the door. So you'll have a fresh MOT on it. 
Servicing wise, we'll get it serviced before it goes back out the door again for you as well. Uh, auto lights, as you can see on there, front fog lights, indicators, etc. Uh, AM, FM on the stereo. Uh, Mini boost CD. We have air conditioning. Uh, we'll double check as part of our PDI checks. We double check if the aircon's working to what degree and all of that. Um, electric windows, driver, passenger, rear fog lights, central, sorry, front fog lights, central locking, rear fog lights. Six speed manual gearbox, reverse gear is all the way to the left and then forward, and that engages your reverse gear. Cup holders, um, let me get those a bit more clean before it goes out. A little bit of wear on your handbrake thing there. I'm sure there's a bit of fancy chrome stuff you could buy to chuck around there if you wanted to. Not quite sure why we've got two locking wheel nuts, but hey, we've got two locking wheel nuts. Carpet, passenger side, all looking good. Glove box. Uh, we'll get rid of them face mask, shall we? And then top of the dashboard, etc. It's all pretty neat and tidy. It's quite a pleasant environment in there. Let me just turn that engine off whilst we show you under the engine. Uh, which is around the passenger side, Simon. So we'll quickly show you the passenger side of the vehicle at the same time. There's your door card on the passenger side. Door shuts, entry seals, and carpets, etc. All good. Passenger seat, again, neat and tidy. Our bonnet, your bonnet opener is just above your right spot lamp somewhere. Actually, it's just to the line it up to the end of there. There's your bonnet opener there. We'll get this re cleaned off underneath here, okay? So it's not had an engine wash done on it yet, but we, as you can see, we upgraded the intake system. So that AEM system is like hideous money from what I can remember, um, but we've uh, upgraded all of that on it. We were going to remap it and we were going to do this and that on it. Sorry, telephone's just gone off, so we'll have to patch that one together. Um, but yeah, we'll get that all re-cleaned so it all looks nice and tidy for you under there. Um, and that, I think, is about it, really. 60 to 70 photos of this vehicle will be on our website very shortly. We are Vans today, based in Worcester, in the centre of the country, offering you nationwide delivery, part exchange and finance. Feel free to give us a call 01905 672 080 or email us at sales at vanstoday.com. Um, if you're worried about who you're buying off, check out our reputation online. We have reviews on Google, uh, our own website. We're on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, etc. etc. Um, what else can I say? Fresh 12 month MOT on it before it goes out the door. We'll service it before it goes out the door. We'll do a 110 point PDI check. We'll run it through the diagnostics, just make sure there's nothing wrong with it. Um, we will do a more um, thorough valet on it before it goes out the door. You will get three months warranty included in the asking price. Uh, and that's about it. You can upgrade that up to three years. Um, there you go. Thanks for looking. There's about 13, 14 minutes of your life you're never going to get back. But if you are interested, it gives you a very good indication of what you're buying. Cheers.